Okay, so we just received this um, whopping great big parcel in the post, which is our uh, next little project for a little while. This is the uh, first ever engine I've had sent in the post, so we're going to see if it survived, and uh, we'll see what it is then. Obviously we've got plenty of packaging to peel away first, so let's start to get some of that out and start to reveal what's inside. Okay, there's the first piece of the engine out of the box. So, <laughs> can everybody guess what the hell that's from? That's just the exhaust of the little tiny engine. So uh, let's go ahead and get a few more bits of it out of the box. Not really sure. It's all come in pieces. Which is good to try to guess what on earth it is. Oh my, and by in pieces I really mean she's coming little tiny pieces. Um, that is obviously the mounting bracket from the um, mower that it came off of. That is another piece of the mounting bracket. And here we can definitely get an idea of what the engine is now, I reckon. Uh, this will be the carburetor at this point. We have too many clues to what he actually is. Uh, that's the problem that we have with the um, manifold there, which is, um, which is busted. <laughs> right, well, let's see if we can repair that. But Starting to get a good collection of pieces there. Yeah, that's the other bit to the manifold. So at least that'll tell me which one I need to get a replacement. So there you go, there's here comes the engine. That's the end, isn't it? Yep, I don't need two hands this. And there you go, that's the engine. That's the complete thing. It is a Jap Model O, which is a, I believe they're a 34cc two stroke single cylinder. Really small, really tiny, and uh, in not too bad original shape. Could be one potentially for just a wipe over a rag rather than actually trying to paint all up. But yeah, there she is in all of her small and tiny glory. Really nice little fuel tank on there. And obviously that's where our crankshaft extension comes in at the back and it's just literally clamped down there. The exhaust is in really good shape. Seems to have a little bit of compression. She doesn't sound too bad when she's turned over. There is probably a little tiny bit of play in there. But I reckon once we've had the head off and actually cleaned it all out inside, we should be on site there. She doesn't sound too bad really. A little bit of end play. Again, not too bad. Yeah, we might have something here. We might be able to do something with this old girl. That'll clean up very nicely. Yeah. Tank's pretty filthy, but not rusty. It looks like it's had oil put in it. It just needs a flush out. That should be fine. Looks like somebody's actually... Uh, taken some sort of effort to uh, put this away and store it so it can be used again. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Hopefully uh, we'll get a reading from the coil in a minute. Well, there you go, that's our first bit of um, positive news that this engine will definitely run again. She's got a good coil, that's a start. Yeah, that's a good starting place. We might have Psyche here that will actually uh, run again. Yeah, she's looking, she's looking promising. Definitely going to get a good clean up. And uh, still undecided whether we're going to paint it or maybe just um, roll it back a little bit and lacquer it or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. She's not too bad. 
but she's not yeah, she's not brilliant really we'll probably look at abs like better if we did give it a fresh coat of paint at some point but for now we'll leave her as she is and there you go that's a new little project chap model over